Hi, my name is Jill Knapp and I'm an Adoption and Change Management Practitioner at Amtra Solutions. Have you ever wondered about the links that you're sending to people? Like, can they edit it? Can they view? Um, sometimes you may be sending the wrong kind of link. So today we're going to be talking about sharing links in OneDrive and SharePoint. I'm going to be showing you in SharePoint the options remain the same, so let's take a look. So we're going to take a look at my Sunflower document. We're going to click on the ellipses button. So in the ellipses button, we have two options of sharing links. We can choose share, which I prefer myself, but there's also this copy link option, which we'll talk about. So let's click on share. And from here, you have a couple of options. So notice at the very top, it says people you specify can edit. If you don't want that, you just click on this pencil here and choose can view. And notice that changes right here. So people you specify can view. So I can send this to Sasha. And I can say, please review and let me know what you think. And I can click send as an alternative. I can copy the link and paste it to her and just say that she's the only one who will have access. And that's just really dependent on how confidential your document or file is. So I'm going to click send for now. And I'm going to show you the other options. So I can go into share. So we talked about specific people, but if we can actually click on this option and we have a variety of other options here. We have anyone with a link disabled at your organization. You might have that enabled, which is good in the way that you can share your links with internal people as well as external people. I can say anyone within my organization can access the link. People with existing access, that would be just if there was, um, we just want to remind people of this link itself or we can choose specific people again. But I'm gonna to go to people in Amtra Solutions with the link, and then notice that this checkbox that says allow editing appears. So if I just want them to view, I can uncheck that box, and I can even block the download if I don't want them to download it. But if this is collaborative, just make sure that they have edit access. And then I can just choose apply, and say I want to copy the link. I can also send this to several people if I'd like, but I'm going to copy the link this time, and then I can paste it into my team's message. I could put it in my extended email, and I just paste it there, and I'm good to go. So that's sharing. The other option in here is to copy a link. So I'm going to choose copy link, and it says people with existing access can use the link. So I'm going to click there and show you the additional options. I can say people in Amtra Solutions with the link. And then at this point, I can choose whether I want editing and blocking a download if I uncheck allow editing. Um, and I can choose people with existing access, which means if this is edit access or view access, it just remains or I can choose specific people again and have the options available. So once I've chosen what I'd like, I'm gonna say people in Amtra Solutions with the link. I'm gonna choose apply, I have the link, I can copy it and then paste it where I deem appropriate. So that's it, it's very simple, but it'll save you a lot of time if you send everyone the right link. So start this new year off of doing that and your life will be so good. Thanks for listening and have a wonderful day.